Watch Job Wine use car flip over tire barrier in horrific F1 crash. Info 366 provides significant trending stories from business, technology, movies, sports, videos, photos and many more every day. So subscribe now and turn on the notification bell for regular updates, give it a like and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Alright let's get started with today's story. The British Grand Prix was stopped before the first lap was completed because Joe Guanya's Alfa Romeo wound up on the wrong side of the tire barriers at turn 1 as a result of two severe crashes on the pit straight involving numerous drivers. As soon as emergency workers arrived, Joe and Williams driver Alex Albon were rushed to the hospital. After precautionary examinations, both were found to be free of serious wounds and released from Coventry Hospital. A replay showed Pierre Gasly being squeezed between Joe and George Russell, with Gasly and Russell's contact sending Russell's Mercedes into Joe's Alfa Romeo. The second impact's force rolled Joe's car, sending it barrel rolling through the runoff area and over the barriers before coming to a rest in front of a grandstand. The halo cockpit protection used by Formula One, according to Joe, saved my life. The introduction of the halo in F1 before of the 2018 season caused controversy among many traditionalists because it marked such a significant departure from the open-air appearance of vehicles. The gadget has been credited for rescuing drivers in a number of other events, notably Romain Grosjean's fireball collision at the 2020 Bahrain Grand Prix, and it probably prevented Charles Leclerc from suffering a catastrophic injury during that year's Belgian Grand Prix. Albon was engaged in a different accident shortly after Joe's when he slammed the brakes for the initial crash and Sebastian Vettel piled into the back of his Williams. Albon was sent against the pit wall by the impact before coming back onto the track and running into Yuki Tsunoda and Esteban Ocon. While Joe, Albon, and Russell were immediately eliminated from the race, Tsunoda, Ocon, and Gasly were able to proceed back to the pits. The race was red flagged shortly after the collisions as the leaders approached the Wellington Strait, terminating the race. Separate from the incidents, protesters also wreaked havoc further around the lap by encroaching on the track. At 3.56 p.m. local time, the race was resumed. If you enjoyed this story, make sure you click on the like and subscribe buttons and leave us a comment. Thanks for watching.